Our first guest, everybody, does it all. She's an actress, a writer, a comedian, and on top of that, she's pretty. You can catch her cracking jokes regularly on Chelsea Lately, and now she has her national stand-up tour. Please welcome to our show, Whitney Cummings. <laughs> Girls. I love your body. Thank you. I just, this is, Thank this you. is, I'm very sexually confused right now. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I, I just wanna just motorboat that. Okay, I just. just say what I say. How you? How you? Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, how you doing? <laughs> Since this morning when I was making coffee, I could use some milk. I mean, you are. This is a. I just want. I want this in my life. Thank you. I want my back to look like your front. How can I do that? Listen, you know, I love a funny girl. Thank you. I, um, you know. I've seen you on Chelsea. I followed your career. You. At one point, you had three shows on TV at one time. Three shows on TV at one time. That's was, really... It was just last year. Right. Uh, and then, and then two of the shows. Still not as famous as you. Still, no. still not as successful as Excuse you. Excuse me, two broke girls. <laughs> oh, is thank you. Off the meat rack. That's such a funny thank show. You. Thank you. It's such a good show. Thank you. But here's the thing. I never really got why it was that you had three shows on and then two were canceled. Yeah. The critics I heard were harsh to you. Can you explain? Yeah. Well, you know, it's I think critics, their job is to criticize things, you know, that's in, in the job description. So I try not to take it too personally, but you know, I was doing a multi-camera show, which is like what Seinfeld and Friends was like on NBC. And that's kind of a traditional format. It was I, Whitney, the sitcom, Whitney, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't watch it. Don't, <laughs> don't pretend like you watched it, okay? If, if you had watched it, I wouldn't be here right now, okay? <laughs> I'd be shopping for tigers and, and <laughs> getting my body in shape like that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I mean, I think that, you know, I did feel like being a woman, I got attacked more for my physical appearance yeah. than I think most men would. Like they were t attacking my body and my voice. They said I was shrill, which is true. But like, it was, it, it felt like a strong, la I'm like every man's worst nightmare. And so I think all the male critics were just like, kind of wanted to assassinate me. And then you had the talk <laughs> show, which yeah. was on E. On E? E. Well, you know, I mean, you know more than anyone. I try to do a weekly talk show, and that's not, that's very hard to do because yeah. news is so topical now. You get news in two seconds on Twitter, you know. It was only on one day a week. It was so only it on was one day a week, and I was doing it simultaneously with the, it was just, I was trying to do too much. Yeah. You know, my hair extensions were falling out. That's yeah. how stressed out I was. But listen, you got a hit with this Two Broke Girls. Yeah, Two Broke Girls is, is great. I did it with Michael Patrick King, who did Sex in the City, who's okay. like my hero, you know, and uh, it's about two strong girls that live in Williamsburg um, over the bridge, and people really seem to like it, so. Now, now tell me Thank how. You. Thank you. Look, tell me about how a pair of Louboutins oh helped God. you get the show. This is so. And I'm, talk slow. I'm meeting. I talk so fast. No, 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 no. Oh. I, I want to hear every detail. Okay, good. Okay, good. Go ahead. Go ahead. I okay. So I'm meeting with Michael Patrick King, who does Sex in the City, right. which is the most fashionable, amazing show ever. It's uh -huh. like it's like clothing porn, you know. And so I'm meeting him, and I'm like, okay, I need to have on some amazing shoes, right. Carrie Bradshaw. So I literally have in my bank account maybe like seven hundred dollars or something at the time, like total. My rent's like yes. eight hundred, and I was like, I gotta get some amazing shoes. I was like, I'll go to Neiman Marcus, I'll get Christian Louboutin shoes, wear them for the meeting, and then return them. <laughs> I put I put like tape on the bottom so that I didn't scuff them. I was walking like a serial killer, trying not to scuff them. Right. But it was August in LA, so it was like a hundred and three degrees. I'm sweating profusely. I'm so nervous about meeting him. I'm like the shoes turn into like a marsh, like a swampy, sweaty marsh. And through the entire meeting, I'm just like trying to air out my shoe. I'm just like trying to rock my feet. And that's all I'm thinking about the entire meeting, but also trying to make sure he sees them. I'm like, so, um, yes, yes. what do you think? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, like, like, 
I really need to make sure he saw that red bottom, right. you know? And, yeah, uh, and the tape. <laughs> and the I know, and then I had tape and the red, and it was just like, just see the little sliver. And then, um, <laughs> and then I was there, we got along so well that I was there for like two hours and just like, just. So this is the guy that you were counting on, Patrick, to yes. fi help you finance, thus partner up with the show. Well, we were gonna write it together. Okay. He was meeting with a bunch of writers, so yeah. I was kind of seeing if we vibed. And then I left and I was so excited and I like ran to my car and my the shoes were so, I couldn't return them. So I had an $800 pair of shoes and $5 in my bank account, um, you know. No, but, but, but those shoes are everything. By the way, uh, can we give you a manicure, Cam? Your oh, manicure is really good. Thank come on over you, here, Rambo. Thank you. It's good. It's kind of fun, right? Well, it was like, I was, um, it's, I like doing the reverse French mail. I love, I think nails are very important now because we're always on our computers uh -huh. and always texting and it just like puts me in a good mood. And, yeah, I don't You know, and you, they're look, I, I mean, I, I honey, keep no them, one's looking at your I nails. I keep them clear, thank you. Okay, <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> that's, that's the last thing I'm gonna look at on you. But, um, but I went and I got these amazing uh, nails. I was so excited about them and I went to the, a Friars Club roast and I was sitting next to Katy Perry and she goes, I love your nails. And I was like, thanks. And she goes, Ikea colors. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I just cannot make it in this business. Well, but wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. But you've got- I do still shop at Ikea, by the way, and I am proud of but, it. But look, <laughs> you have love in your life. I have love in my life. I have a man in my life who's a little bit older. Older? He's older, thank you, thank you. Down, down. He's, um, he's 51, so he, he has a kid. And you're? 30, okay. but I look like I'm 51 and he acts like he's 30, so it's perfect. But it's perfect and he has a kid, so he's not pressuring you yet. He has yet. a kid, not, no pressure, he's the greatest, but he's like, this is the first guy I've dated. He's like a, like a jock, like he's like a, like a man. He like yes. doesn't, well, yeah, I saw him get in the shower the other day. He doesn't use soap. That just oh. doesn't, he just got in, we were like talking about something, he got in and just like was like water and was like doing this and got out of the shower. I was like, you missed something. Is it tough though? Is it tough being in a relationship? And also, cause a lot of your jokes stem from relationships. Yes, yes. I, well it's a really annoying because I'll get on stage and I'll like be talking about guys and he's like, who are you talking about? And I'm like, no one. He's like, well who, what guys have you been? I'm like, okay, it's you, fine. Um, but, uh, but I just try to be respectful because he has his kid. But if you date me, first amendment, yeah. everyone's gonna know everything, so don't piss me off. Well, this is what I like also is that you are one of those girls, girls, you're good friends with Chelsea Handler. Best friend. Which means that yeah. a lot of drinking <laughs> and, and, a, and a lot of great stories yes. that you could probably go on for days and days. I just love that. We have the best time together. There's this like thing that people think that female comedians don't get along and that we're catty, which yeah. I really want to break that myth. Like yeah. I'm, we're so supportive of each other. We love each other. I hang out with Kathy Griffin all the time too. But Chelsea and I actually just yesterday, we were, you know, it was raining in New York. We went to the MoMA and we went to the Met and uh, the Guggenheim. Uh -huh. You know, the Guggenheim is that spiral. Yes. We had two cocktails at lunch and we were walking around the spiral of the Guggenheim and there was an exhibit on like like lights or something that was like, it's totally overrated. And we're looking at the track lights and we're like, this is gorgeous. This is, we're like, and then I'm like, that's not, not the exhibit. The exhibit. Like, <laughs> it was really nice to meet you. Thank you, you are wonderful, I love you. Yes, you I too, you. everybody. You can catch Whitney doing stand-up. She's going to be on Saturday at the Brigada in Atlantic City. For more information on dates in your area, go to wendyshow.com.